Oh, hi, didn't see you there. I was just reading this amazing book. It's titled The Edge of Tomorrow. And the quote that I picked from it was, While I live and breathe, humanity will never fall. I promise. It may take a dozen years, but I will win this war for you. Even if you won't be here to see it. You were the only person I wanted to protect, and you were gone. And I picked this quote because it relates to the theme of the book, and which is perseverance and never giving up. And it shows that because it says, While I live and breathe, humanity will never fall. While he's alive, he will not stop fighting for humanity. And he doesn't care how long it will take. It may take a dozen years, but he will win this war. And it shows the character's devotion for humanity and for the people he cares for. And this book is set in Japan in Kotoyushi Island in the future. And the two main characters are Keiji Kiria and Rita Votaski. Keiji Kiria is just another rookie, unnoticeable in a group. But Rita Votaski is a war hero, the person that everybody wants to be, the face of the war. And the plot is that one day aliens invade. They, they're people called the mimics. They start out as harmless and turn into war machines. And war begins. And in the front lines in Japan, on Kotoyushi Island, Keiji Kiria is sent, and along with millions of others, and it's a massacre. Everybody is killed, including him. But before he dies, he kills a mimic called a server. And it gives him the ability to control time, to reset the day. But he has to die for it to happen. And in the 150th repeat, he finds a way to end it. The theme of the book is perseverance, never giving up. And the evidence of that is on page 25. It says, I decide not to die with three rounds left in my pile driver. I lifted a leg. I put a hand on one knee. I stood. I screamed. I forced myself to keep going. In this quote, he was badly injured and expected to die within a minute. But despite this, he fought on. He didn't stop fighting. He persevered. And on page 264, it said, I wouldn't let the world lose. It could drop me into a field of mimics with nothing but tungsten carbide axe and a dying jacket and I would fight my way out. In this quote, it just shows no matter what, he won't stop fighting. He will persevere. And uh, this book is meant for sci-fi, for people who like sci-fi and war novels, and for people who like fast-paced books that grab you on the emotional level and make you feel what the character is feeling his pain his anguish and his suffering and that about wraps up my book talk and thank you for watching